North Carolina, South Carolina, both. Good day, everyone, and welcome to a very special episode of Adventures with Parker. We are here for the first time ever at Carowinds. Oh my goodness, this is a park that has been on my bucket list for quite a while. And this trip was so spontaneous. My friends kind of just texted me last week and were like, hey, do you want to come? And I'm like, yeah, of course I do. And long story short, here we are. I can't express how excited I am. I mean, this park has so many good coasters, Fury, Copperhead Strike, Afterburn, there's just so much to explore here and I'm already already just falling in love with the park so I have a feeling that today is going to be a really good day so without any further ado let the Carolinian adventures begin <laughs> My friends are over there buying fast lane. I already got mine. But this is the entry plaza of Carowinds, which I kind of like. I mean, it's not a big elaborate main street setup like uh, Canada's Wonderland or the uh, Kings Parks have. But I kind of like how the plaza is just really easy and simple to navigate. You have the Coke refresh station here, gift shop, lockers, fast lane right off the side of the front gate. Just everything is right up front and and i just love the convenience of that and oh there goes fury oh i'm so excited oh, to get I'm on so that ride i'm so excited to get on that ride i think that's the first, one we're, to to first one we're going to but yeah overall my first impressions of carowinds are positive Okay, as you can see, we are here at Fury 325. Oh man, I am so excited for this. As a big fan of Leviathan, I, I am ready to just be blown away by this coaster. I, I cannot wait. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm just getting giddy just looking at it. I just got off of my second ride on Fury 325 and I love it! Oh my goodness! It is incredible! <laughs> of course, I'm a huge fan of Leviathan, but I always felt like it was missing a little something something and Fury 325 has that something something. Oh, it was so good. Um, I got a back row ride both times, uh, once on the left edge and once on the right edge. Both were incredible. The airtime is great and it is Hauling, ah, oh, so good. I also got a front row ride on Furler, which was okay. I mean, I actually found it to be a little slow and a little boring, so maybe I gotta come back and try that again in the back row, see if it's a little more exciting. But yeah, well, it, it just didn't do too much for me, but at least it wasn't rough. Now the other cool thing is that um, our rides on Fury and Hurler were with Brandon from Theme Park Predictions, which is a channel that I really love and respect. So it was really cool to meet him. He is such an awesome guy. He's really, uh, really friendly, really down to earth and um, just a great guy to talk to. So it was awesome to meet him and yeah, do a couple rides with him. 
How was Fury, guys? Oh, Fury was the best! Fury. Agreed! Levi what? Levi who? Levi... Snoozing! Oh, sick! Oh, the, I like this one. That one's cool. Probably, probably a kid size, though. Oh my goodness! That's adorable. <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to leave with the Fury shirt. Oh no! But they have front gate. Yeah, I'm definitely leaving with something from this shop. <laughs> now, I will say that the one thing I didn't really appreciate about Fury is that it's one of the only rides here where you need to put your bag in a locker, and that locker costs you four dollars for two hours. Now, I totally get and respect the reasoning for requiring a locker. Um, it does speed up load times and stuff like that. But I don't agree with parks making you pay for that. Like me coming here with a backpack, I have no other option but to pay or not ride. So I wish more parks were like Hershey, like for Candemonium. I still had to put my bag in a locker, but it was free. Same with Universal. So I just hope more parks have policies like that. Hello, friends. Where are we off to next? We drinks. are off to drinks and then whatever ride you want. It's your day. All right, let's do Copperhead. Okay. Oh, yeah. Got a raspberry Coke. Cheers, Fury. Cheers. Cheers. Woo! Fury, 325. Fury, 325. But what was your reaction? I well, I was whooping and screaming the whole time. Yeah. I was I was in heaven. So is this over for your favorite ride you've rode in the world? You know what? It might just be my number one. I think I'm gonna faint. <laughs> That's cool. They have a game theme to Fury. Walking by Carolina Cyclone here with its spiffy new paint job. It looks so nice. I love the vibrant blues on it. Unfortunately, it is closed for right now. Hopefully it opens later because I really want to get on it. I love classic arrows. Just got off of Ricochet, which was pretty good as far as wild bites go. I mean, it's <laughs> always a uh, chaotic coaster experience. But yeah, not bad. I do have to say, I love the theming around this station. It's got these little Carolinian touches. I mean, this whole area kind of has a Carolina coast theme, which is really cool and just makes for just a really nice atmosphere overall. for Vortex, which is the park's B&M stand-up coaster. Now I've done it before. That was Skyrider at Wonderland way back in the day, long before Yukon Striker. So this will be my first time doing the B&M uh, version. And I mean, my first stand-up in general for a long time. So I'm excited <laughs> and a little scared. Mostly excited. All right, and that was my first time on a B&M stand-up. Uh, stand-ups are so cool. Like the uh, way you experience the forces is just so unique. And uh, like I said, my only other stand-up was Skyrider, the old Togo out Wonderland. And that ride only had a loop, so it was kind of cool to experience, you know, things like corkscrews and just other kinds of elements in that position. Now it is a rough coaster. <laughs> it is uh, within the PMF umbrella. But uh, I'm glad I got to do it. Will I do it again today? No. Debatable. Please. Pain means fun. But to be honest, you want my opinion, Parker? I do. I hate to say this, but I'd rather choose this over flight deck in time or put together. I'm sorry. There you have it. Is this themed music in a Cedar Fair Park? Oh my God. I love it. 
the carousel today, but it is beautiful and I love how it has its own little area here. Carousels. I'm an influencer, I have things to video. Before we go eat, let's go on Scrambler. Oh, Scrambler, okay. Yeah, it's probably good to do before we eat. <laughs> All right, it is scrambler time. Always gotta do our scramblers here. Look at that crazy scrambler goodness. We love to see it. Okay, that was probably one of the best experiences I've ever had on a scrambler. I mean, the ride itself was pretty whippy, but the ride operator, uh, his name was Chris, and he was just so funny. I mean, he was talking to us beforehand about uh, our home park of Canada's Wonderland. And Amanda, what happened at the end? He almost said, enjoy your ride at uh, Can or Carowinds. He was meant to say, Canada's Wonderland. Yep. And I mean, it's always funny when ride operators just goof around with, uh, you know, their announcements. So he was uh, telling us trivia about the ride. Before 2005, it was known as Kaleidoscope, fun fact. And then when the ride was all done, he was like, hope you guys enjoyed your ride on UConn Striker. So <laughs> it was a cute little shout out to, uh, to us visiting Canadians. So we are visiting the park on a Thursday, but this weekend is the state line celebration. So if you see all of these uh, blue decorations and uh, this little patio here, that's all for the festival. I mean, I love Cedar Fair's little events and festivals. So too bad we couldn't really experience it to its full effect, but you know, at least we get to see some of the uh, decor of the whole thing. Okay, we are now traveling from North Carolina to South Carolina. And now we're in both states at once. This is wild. Oh, that's cute. It's a little golf club bouquet. I love golf. I haven't been golfing in so long. And this big yellow monstrosity is Nighthawk, the Vacoma Flying Coaster, which unfortunately is closed today because I believe they are getting a new control panel, which sucks. But I guess it gives me an excuse to come back. Which I definitely will because I am loving Carowind so far. Any hoops, we are on our way to Harmony Hall to grab some lunch. And I'm really excited to check this out because as I've said in my Wonderland vlog, we are getting a very similar style of restaurant. Something that offers uh, different stations and different cuisines. So this will almost be like a preview for that. That was loud. Let's get food. All right, here we are at Harmony Hall and we have Intimidator going up the lift hill too. Wow, perfect timing. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. I love this. And Snoopy's here to greet us too. Hello, Snoopy. Hello. Boop. <laughs> Let's get some food. So we have some Italian, some barbecue, some poke bowls, and what looks like a grill, chicken and burgers and that kind of stuff. Okay, I think I'm going to go with the beef brisket from the barbecue station. <laughs> Cody is currently struggling with how to eat this massive turkey leg. Oh my God. When in America, I wish Candace Wonderland would give us that kind of portion. <laughs> We're a little more uh, restricted in our cuisine in Canada. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> and I myself got a uh, beef brisket and some broccoli salad because I gotta have my veggies so I can be big and strong. Okay, now that we're all filled up, we are ready to ride Intimidator. So this coaster and its sister over at King's Dominion is themed after race car driver Dale Earlhardt.
All right, we just got off of Intimidator. Um, we did it twice. I did once in the back and then once in the middle. It was a fun ride, but you say it normally goes it, faster. It, it normally is rolling. I, I hate to say it, I don't know if they, they. I could sense it's more rattling because when I first went on it, there wasn't that much rattling in the turns. So that's why I was like, did they turn the brakes and whatnot? But it's usually hauling like I mean fast. And, yeah. I hate to say it, but he looked one over for me. Yeah, I felt like it just could have been a touch faster. Overall, it's fun though. Like I feel like I feel like it could overtake Behemoth if that extra speed was there. So maybe maybe in a future visit, it might be better. But yeah, I liked it. I liked it overall. Of course, they have merch for just about every other coaster in the Intimidator gift shop. But Intimidator, like all beauty stuff and coverhead stuff. Oh wow, some nice designs here though. Oh my god, look at that, cycles. Oh, nice, that's cool. I like this shirt, like I love coaster shirts that aren't, you know, in your face as coaster shirts. So I might come back and buy this later, we'll see. Okay, we are heading into Blue Ridge Junction, which is where we're going to find Copperhead Strike. And oh my goodness, I already have like theme music and everything. I love this, oh my goodness. All right, well here's Carowind's rendition of Boo Blasters, which apparently there is a ghost eviction in progress, so we won't be riding it today. Unfortunately, but I like the exterior. It's kind of cool how they uh, styled it. That's one complaint I have for today. So many rides are closed down. Carolina Cyclone, Kitty Hawk. I think they're I, a little um, short staffed today. Unfortunately, I think they're a little short staffed today. Shuts, unfortunately, that means I'm missing some credits. Shuts, but again, I uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to make my way back to this park at some point because all in all, I love it. I I really like this park. So. I don't know if it'll be this year, but definitely oh, one day. Yeah, you come back this year, it's a demand. I will grab handcuffs and cuff them. Okay, there you have it. I'm coming back this year. <laughs> Apparently. Okay, we just did a couple rides on Copperhead Strike and Holy moly, do I love that ride. It is so much fun. Like the Jojo roll at the beginning, the loop, just all the hang time was so freaky, but so cool. And there were so many awesome airtime moments and just you're being thrown all over the place. Ah, oh, it was awesome. And I know this is kind of scandalous and very controversial. Might be better than Fury. Don't come for me. Don't come for me, <laughs> but it might be. <laughs> oh, okay, but the thing is, is that I really like a complete experience. And the other thing that really um, stands out about Copperhead Strike is all the theming and that little pre show before the launch. And just, it, it tells the whole story. And um, yeah, like I'm the kind of person who has Big Thunder Mountain Railroad in my top 10. So to have a ride like this with that kind of, you know, theming and level of details and all the thrills, I might have just beat out my number one twice in the same day. <laughs> no, it's a really good ride. I love it. Just big thumbs up for me. And we did Afterburn. I love the AM inverts, and uh, this one was super fun. I really liked it. My legs went a little numb out of your points, but <laughs> that's all part of the fun. I will say that the line, even though it was short, well, I mean, we have fast lanes, so what do we know? <laughs> what I mean to say is that operations are not good on this ride. I mean, they were only doing one train ops, so could have been a little faster there. But overall, the ride was fun. Okay, we are heading into Camp 
Snoopy to get the okay. kitty credits. Why? Because we're cringy enthusiasts and that was what we do. Okay, this is a really cute little kids area. I love how shaded it is and I love the uh, the look of the buildings, how they look like, you know, little camping cottages. Yeah, this area is so nice. Old School Wonderland fans, you're gonna love this. Here, oh, that's Intimidator. Here is Peanuts Pirates, AKA the Great Whale of China. Yes, this ride used to operate at our own home park of Canada's Wonderland, uh, but got moved here, I don't know when, sometime in the early 2000s. I never got a chance to do it, so. We're making up for it. Okay, so we did a couple things in this area. First of all, Woodstock Express. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing as uh, Ghoster Coaster back at Wonderland. I don't know if it's an exact clone, but it's pretty darn close. Not much to say there. Not much I to mean, say it's there. Pretty wooden I mean, it's coaster. A pretty wooden coaster. They're always fun. I think they're always. I think they're always great. Because parts, you know, it's you know, it always gives uh, kids a chance to try their own first wooden coaster That's and. Better. Um, yeah, it's just a cool experience for them. And then I after that, we did. I think the they're always good at this part. Because, because the, uh, great you know, it gives uh, kids a chance to try their little first for wooden us, coaster. But and, totally worth it. Um, such a yeah, fun it's little cool ride. Of um, course, a cool piece of Canada's Wonderland. Then history, after that, we did right here the, in the Carolinas. Peanut Pirates. <laughs> Boo Blasters was not closed. I think that was just part of the theming. That was a little uh, confusing there. But yeah, it was open and uh, it was pretty good. I mean, it was pretty similar to Wonderland's version, except, and I'm not going to spoil anything, but there's a part at the end that kind of spooked me out a bit. But yeah, Boo Blasters is always fun. I love classic dark rides and uh, yeah, don't be confused by the signage. It is open. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen the tower move all day. I might have to ride it. Oh, that's cool. I got Copperhead in the background. <laughs> Cody got her Nighthawk credit. <laughs> and you can't ride, but you can still get the credit. Don't be crabby, something new is coming soon. Oh cool, they have a chickies and peats here. That's uh, that's a place I've been wanting to eat. I'm thinking the next time I go to Hershey Park, that's when I'm gonna try it. But I do really love the uh, facade for it. Carolina Boatworks. Yeah, this is awesome. Okay, so it looked like it was closed all day, but finally, the Carolina Gold Rusher is open.
I know mine trains are generally frowned upon in the coaster community, but when it's open, you can't pass it up. You gotta get the credit. Plus, I really love old arrows, <laughs> no matter what they are. So let's do it. Oh, I wasn't expecting Carowinds to be so good at theming, but they are blowing me away today. Look at this old crazy looking locomotive. Oh, I love it. There it goes. <laughs> choo choo. What can I say? Aero mine trains are never overly exciting. Definitely meant for families and pretty much anyone of any age, but they're just fun. They're, they're cute. That's what they are. They're cute. And this one was cool because it had a tunnel and it had a little helix that was kind of into the ground a bit. Lovely. Just a lovely ride. And with that, there's only one section of the park that I haven't done yet, and that is the county fair, which we are walking through right now. Oh, the music! Oh my goodness, Carowinds is doing a really great job at picking music that matches the theme and aesthetic of the area. Oh, I love it. I wish Wonderland did theme music. All right, so this area is home to the Flying Cobras, which is a Vacoma boomerang coaster that is not running today, so we are not getting this credit. Ah, oh, Carowinds, come on, I drove all this way. It's a boomerang, I'm not missing much. We have one back home at Wonderland, so it's not a huge loss. But what County Fair lacks for in credits, it definitely makes up with its flat ride collection. From what I understand, the flat rides in this area come from the European fair circuit or, you know, old European parts. And Carowinds fix them up, put them here, and I'm really excited. I love flat rides. We're starting things off with a troika called Dosado. Let's do it, y'all. In case I haven't made it clear, Carowinds employees, I love y'all. You guys are swell. Okay, over here is Carolina Harbor, which is Carowinds Water Park. Not open today, but it does seem like a really cool water park. Uh, definitely one worth visiting. Keep out, it says. There's snakes in here. Oh boy. So again, Copperhead Strike is one of those rides where you got to put everything in a locker. Uh, to be clear, I'm going to be doing some filming, but I'm not taking my stuff on the ride. I'm going to go back and put it where it belongs. But for now, let's see what lies beyond. Snakes. Scary, scary. Stop. Turn back. Oh, we're going to keep going though. Ooh, we're rebels. Oh, nothing to see here. Just that we done gone too far and they buy. <laughs> Go away, it says. <laughs> With tools for snakes.
Did I just ride Copperhead Strike five times in a row? Yes, yes I did. And it was amazing. I love that ride so much. Also, I don't think I mentioned it earlier, but I love the Blue Ridge Junction area. It is so well themed. The whole atmosphere of that entire part of the park is top notch. I mean, I thought Frontier Canada was great, but Blue Ridge Junction, I think you, uh, I think you got a beat here. Am I a cringe enthusiast? Yes, I am. <laughs> so yeah, Kitty Hawk was my last new credit of the day. And it's cute. It's, uh, I'm pretty sure it's the same layout as Silver Streak. I keep comparing these rides to the ones back home at Wonderland. But yeah, uh, same ride as Silver Streak. But I really like the little uh, plot of land that it's on, which you can kind of see behind me. It's got this little creek running through it. It's all green and grassy and nice. It's it's cute. And the name, Kitty Hawk. I mean, like, come on. That's awesome. Anyways, we are 20 minutes away from park closing. So to finish off our day, we are heading to that amazing monstrosity of a roller coaster right in front of us. I still can't decide if I like Yuri or Copperhead better. <laughs> I know it's so scandalous, but both of those rides are awesome. I mean, Carowinds is blessed. That's that's all I gotta say. Okay, we just finished off the night with two consecutive rides, no, three, three rides on Fury 3 to 5. Once in the middle, once on the front, but then that was supposed to be the last ride of the night. The ride operators let us go again, so you got two rides in the front. Oh, that was awesome, but that really wore me out. <laughs> oh man, great way to end what was basically a perfect day. And yeah, that brings us to the end of our day at Carowinds. Amazing. Uh, yeah, just an incredible day. I got so many new credits today, I'm so happy. Overall impressions at the park? Not much I can complain about. I really, really like Carowinds overall. Just the atmosphere here is great. I, I wasn't expecting there to be a lot of theming in this park, but there really was a lot of Carolinian influences all throughout. And yeah, it was really nice to see. Staff here are amazing. They really, really exemplify that Southern hospitality. And yeah, just everyone's so friendly and I got to have a bunch of really cool conversations with a lot of them so yeah that was that was really cool um things that weren't so good i mean it, it wasn't a busy day so i think they're a little short staffed and um yeah there were some rides that weren't running like uh, carolina cyclone and uh well we knew nighthawk wasn't going to be running but i'm a little sad i missed the uh, carolina cyclone credit but that's okay there's uh definitely going to be a next time at some point and what about you guys? How was your day at Carowinds? Amazing as always. Of course. Amazing as always. Tired. Tired. Yes, I feel that. I, I am... That Those last two rides on Fury did me in. Like, I'm, I'm pooped. It wore me out. We are hot and sticky, but we have more adventure to come because we are about to drive five hours, four hours, however far away it is, to Richmond, Virginia, because tomorrow we're going to King's Dominion to do it all over again. Of course, I know you don't want to miss that adventure, so be sure to subscribe. And while you're at it, you can follow me on social media at ADB Parker. I'm gonna be posting a bunch of photos from today and from tomorrow as well. So be sure to follow if you want to see those. You can also find me on Patreon where you can support the channel and help it grow for as little as a two and a month. And in return, you'll get a bunch of cool uh, bonus content as well. And you don't want to miss out on my merch shop, which I just launched. Hopefully by the time this video comes out, I'll have some new products uh, in the stores. So if you want some designs inspired by the channel, yeah, be sure to check out Adventure Outpost. And with that, thank you so much for watching. This was such an amazing day. And until next time, the adventures are calling.
Uh, actually, it's Copperhead. Copperhead, no, 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 no. <laughs> Copperhead no, number no. one. No. I said so. You're so it's true. Right. The uh, like the Doro, you know, to introduce the kiddos to the woodies. That's under dirty. What are you doing? Huh?